March 22nd to the 24th, I'll be holding the largest wholesaling real estate event in Dallas, Texas. I'm bringing you the top producers and top gurus around the country. And not only that, I have a special guest speaker, somebody that I look up to, Gary V is gonna be in the building. So make sure you take your time and purchase your tickets now to the event in the link below. And enjoy the vlog. Okay, so where we're going now is to go look at the property at Lake Spring where I, uh, we bought this property via a subject two. I'll tell you the whole story. Um, when I was in Jamaica, Bryce called me, told me he had a sweet deal and I had to wire $9,000 in the next 30 minutes in order Turn to save this, West Northwest Boulevard. in order to save the property from going into foreclosure. Um, so we did that and the mortgage balance was higher than Bryce thought. We took the property subject to, we have the deed and We put the property on the MLS, and in one weekend we had 20 showings. Turn right on Renolda Road. Uh, we had 20 showings and no offers. One, 20 showings means great area, great location, all the specs on the house sound good. One, the house is not financeable because it has a pool right now that is not in operating order. And there's quite a bit of work to be done to the house to make it 100% livable, but that's why we offered it at a discount. The house completely fixed up, Francis. What do you think? Is like two sixty? Well, if it's uh, a nice update, it would be two sixty. That's why I said completely, completely, completely renovated is around two sixty, two seventy. Um, and unfortunately, one thousand feet. Turn right. Unfortunately, we are uh, gonna have to make a decision. At this point, I'd be happy just getting the investment back and selling the property. So this would be an L, not an L, but it, it is an L in the sense of business, but a good L because you get your money back. Um, but right now, we're looking to see if can we spend 10, 15,000 more dollars and ask, fix get the property where it's financeable and then ask for more money on the listing. And then we have another property that we bought with cash that we listed on the MLS as a hotel. And we're just gonna think, just going in there doing paint and carpet in one room, and we should be able to get a good price. So that's what we're evaluating today. So even our company makes mistakes, and now we're gonna try to fix them. Okay, so this guy, he called me yesterday about this. He's saying he talked to the bank. Mm -hmm. So you told me. No. The new one? Yeah. So because the first, the first bank says, okay, we need to either cover. I mean, uh, fill it or fill up or, or fix it. Or fix it. Mm -hmm. This other bank is saying, cover, put a cover. Mm -hmm. Just put a cover on. Yeah, right. Huh? I said, yeah, right. What? I get it. I get what you're saying. Yeah, just put a cover on it. I mean, that's cheaper than uh, the, all the other ones. Mm hmm So he was wanted to send me an uh, offer for $5,000 less of asking. You told me this. No, no, no. This is two different ones. They said the same thing, though? No. You told me about a guy that wanted to do 5000 less than asking. We put the cover on, and it's, and then... Well, it's just exactly. No. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> no, it's somebody different. When did I tell you that? Yesterday, shit? when I got when I landed, I called you. We talked for like fifteen minutes. No, no, yeah, no, it, no, no, no. But I, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Oh my God. No, no. Did I tell you? Okay. Okay. Let me see. I'm not gonna tell you the rest. Because you know. because you said but you said it don't really work because the guy still was asking for thirty five hundred in closing costs. No, you see, that's not, no. So there's two different ones. There's, there's two different guys. That both want 5,000. No. So this other one, he's, he was willing to put an offer, uh, $5,000 less, 
but he's willing to come up to full price so i don't know why he's putting you know he's telling me he's willing to come up full price so he is willing to put a full price he, at the end he's willing to put a full price offer if we yeah. put a cover no oh. because you know i'm still losing yeah but listen to me okay you you basically are almost breaking even correct that's without because paying the agents here you're gonna have to be spending more than 10 to 15 man. i know this looks good uh, this is great yeah, that is 2014. It's a nice pool. It's not that big, but it's big enough. I've I never been in there. Huh? I've never been in there. It's a clavadita. It's a clavadita, man. But imagine if they cover this, you got nice, then the uh, Super nice uh, patio. Yeah. It has like a uh, growth in this. It's slippery. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like the moss is growing on it, type thing. If I go, you coming. <laughs> yeah, man, I got a good waterproof jacket. So fill the pool. No, just cover it. You Talking about it. for everybody, Francis. Talking about the make this, put this thing financeable. We're here to talk about what money we actually have to spend in order okay, to get. So probably a pool is going to be, let's let's say about five thousand. Fill it. Because in. you have to do the drill pump, the holes. It's not too much, but the pump that's over there, they took the motor. Mm -hmm. But that's all made here in Clemens. All in pumps and stuff. Yeah, but you know, I'm just saying it's, it's still going to cost about five thousand. Don't you think? To to make it operational. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've never done it. Even even the house, the big house we did in Clemens, the guy still hasn't done the pool stuff, has he? No. No, because he had a pool guy, and the pool guy just, you know, didn't, didn't, uh, he didn't give it to him when the season is done. Because you need good weather. You need at least 65 degrees to, to work in a pool. Because the, that, uh, all right, so I need everybody's opinion. And this is why I want to come here. I don't want to be here all day. I just want to figure this out. Our goal, our goal, right, Francis, is to... To see if we can... Uh, put a little bit of work into it to get a better asking price. And number one goal is to make it somewhat financeable. Right. Okay? You got power and everything here. So the thing is, we need to get price on fixing this pool from a from from somebody and then a price and filling this pool which is as a quicker and faster option right right so we fill it properly um and we'll be done with it oh you mean fill it with fill it with, with dirt. dirt yeah the only yeah the only issue here just is take that putting that taking that fence down take that fence down and come, come that's down. easy a bobcat will come here and just you take that part of the fence down, Bobcat come there and he's just filling and filling. He's taking from a truck. I'm not going for like cosmetic stuff. You're I'm right. looking like, like Mace's thing, I want to say, look, how can we get this house where somebody can put a loan on it? That's, that's number one. Then we go through and start saying, okay, obviously we got to fix the deck. Obviously we got to do certain things and let's maybe look at the retaining wall. But we know a guy, one. Listen, babe. So this is the thing. You already have offers with a loan on it. That they want the house as it is, really. The only yeah, one. Yeah, something right here. Go ahead. Oh. The only thing they want us to do is cover the pool. But we're smarter than that. To know that when you get down to brass and tacks and they come out here and one guy's saying just cover the pool, I get it. But even to put, so, even, all right, so put a real pool cover in here, right. you're going to have to put lag bolts. They got drill into this concrete. Right. It, the, cup, the pool cover itself is going to be $2,000. I already know what them guys are charging. Just like a nice pool cover. And then, we, if we do that, financially, we're going to lose money. Because you guys still got to do the deck. Right, but, okay, but, because this, this is what I'm saying. Okay, in order to do improvements, to get the price up, we don't we don't only have to do the pool the retaining wall the deck but we have to improve the inside nobody's gonna pay us that's why we uh, came here 
Right, I'm just saying, because you're just saying, you know, how, what do we have to do? No, no, no I'm saying, the, no, 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 I'm, I'm saying we that. We have to improve the inside too. Please stay over there. What I'm saying is, what makes, our first objective is to make the house financeable. Right, okay. And then we'll start looking into cosmetic stuff with the budget. Pool in the deck is a must, right? So the, the pool, the deck, have to get done. So this is very outdated. Uh, let's see, what is this, uh, wallpaper? Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, actually the house is nothing broken, no, you know, no, the walls are not broken, <laughs> except for this little, anyway. So this is what I'm saying, so like, the moldings and the chair moldings look great. Yeah. Take the wallpaper down, give it our agreeable gray, go with the white base, right? Something like that. Like this. This is agreeable gray, somewhat, but they went with gloss. See? Like, that alone would change everything. Obviously. What do you think is underneath here? So obviously flooring and painting would do a, uh, I mean, that would be, you know. What do you think is under here? Well, it's plywood I checked already. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, if it was hardwood, it would be like great. But you know, painting, oh look, say not to my legs, one leg there. So here's the thing. See, this is the part that gets a little frustrating. I, I want to try to get my money back and be happy with that. And then you also have the side of you that wants to put the little bit of money in renovation. Little, little I mean like 15000 in order to ask for a better price, but still not a full price, but you're not going to do a full flip either. So it's an internal battle with myself as to what to do with this property. One, walk away and maybe lose $1,000 or two, which is not a bad idea. Or do some creative finance and options since I own it, subject to, and let somebody else do the work, or do the work ourselves and put it back on the market in, in a month and a half, two months. It's the frustrating part. Francis, the house, Francis, the house is not in bad shape, man. No, not at all. But there's the thing. Did I order power over here yet? No, I, 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 I told him not to because I did not want power here uh, since I wasn't sure about everything. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, we don't. There is insurance though. Yeah. Yeah, but. It'd be a better payout that way. They really got much to do. I mean, I say that now and then it turns so into one, a. One agent. We're saying, oh, this is not seven feet. If I put it in now. Hello? I knew that was my tape. Give me my tape. I knew that was my tape. Yeah. It sounded like my no, tape. No, because I think somebody took my tape. No, that's, that's fine. No. I don't got nothing to do with me. I bought two of these tapes right here. It's over seven feet. Yeah. So that's why I can't Is she talking about right here? No, this one. I guess she's talking about this one. She's talking one. about this one. Let's check this one. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. If, if most of the room is seven feet, you can count it. Then everything in here is so seven feet. How about here? It's over seven feet. Yeah. I, is it? Yeah. yeah it's cool. That's seven feet here. Cool. So then she's full of wood. Did you see the... the you know, she said... Yeah, the that, comment, yeah. That it was mostly a seven... As long as most of the room is seven feet back. This is just replacing tiles. I would do nothing but replace tiles here. Right. I would paint and replace tiles. Mm -hmm. It's and a basement. And do the, the floor. Then do new carpet. Yeah. So, 
So this is the thing. You might get into a thing because I already know. <laughs> you know because it's you know once you get into fixing everything, then you got inspections and all that shit. So as is crib, so I don't care. No, but but then that's the thing. I mean, you either do it or no. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna leave anything undone. But no, no, yeah. But then again, banks don't care about inspections. It's the homeowner. And right. if you're getting... I'm not selling this at full retail either. I can't. So right now we're at 140 If I put 15 into it... Oh, 15 is not going to... Hold on. Just hear me out. Yeah. 15 20 So you're at 160 uh -huh. And then I can ask for, you know, 190 195 you know, that's still 65000 less than retail. But it's, and, and you won't need to do $65,000 worth of work to get it to that. If somebody offered me money right now to cash to get my money back, I'd leave it. I'll take it. Or, since I own the property, okay? Since I own the property and hold the note. I will partner with somebody that will do the renovations and or or somebody that wants to buy it and do the renovations which I don't think somebody has the guts to do that but I can hold a note just get my money up front get my 10 up front and 10,000 on the back I'm talking about the way I would renovate this house I need about 50 grand. When I give it back to you, it's gonna have a working pool mm -hmm. with a gazebo down there. Mm -hmm. House gonna be legit. Feel that, feel that. Like when I turn it back over to you, it's gonna be just a house, house. It's gonna be an entertainment house. The basement's gonna be able to get mud room to walk into the pool. Yeah, that's the potential. Like you said, they just never did anything. Francis, two things, man. We want to either just get the money back and call it a day or go balls to the wall. Oh. I didn't know there was some oil. You see this oil here? Yeah. I think it's old, though, right? Crazy. Are you saying that's the oil residue? There's an oil tank down here somewhere. Yeah, Probably all of it. Tank. So why is it stained though? It's not supposed to, you know, it's just a tank. Right, the water is not supposed to be stained with No. Tank. No. And when you got oil, you don't want any, you know, leaks and stuff. You go, that's whole envi you go into a whole environmental issue. Exactly. Where you got to dig up this plus 10 feet. Then they're going to test the soil. Yeah, because that's, you know, some. So, for, so here, so. It's an excuse to people charge you a lot of money for. So, let's think about work. this. Think about this. One, either we can find somebody that will let, let, let me out with cash and they take it on, great. If not. So, you're saying you're going to do a subject to, to somebody? You're going to sell it to them as soon as. Nah, more, like, more like owner financing, but hear this out. Either we get somebody to give us the cash to break even, no broker involved, literally. Just, just break even, just your 10,000. <clears> right? Or we hold it, we keep paying the mortgage. When we come back from the conference in March, we start a big renovation. Because I think with a good 45,000, I might keep this damn house. You're, you're talking about, no, I, I, I would do the, I would keep the pool. I would, I mean, I would make the, he goes, he's pointing out, out, that's making me nervous. <laughs> I want to think, I want, I want his opinion too. One, we sell it, just get the cash back. Tell him. Una. Right now. Se vende nomás así, eh? cash. Mm -hmm. O sea, solo para que recupere su plata. Dos. Dos. We wait till after March. And we do a full renovation. So no way. Number one or number two? 
<laughs> oh, of course, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, but he, he likes, <laughs> but he likes fixing shit too, though. No, no, that, no, that's where he's getting oh. with it. But it's like you said, you know, it's like either way, make ten grand in one day just to break even. Oh, it ain't no DM. Yeah, not make no ten grand. So just get my money. Even. Yeah. Well, right I already now got. It's I already ten grand because you kind of lost it already, huh? No, it ain't lost yet. I still own it. You can't no, lose. I, I know, but. I mean, well, that's the only way you see you can make a profit, and it's a decent profit. I mean, so you you're looking at waiting what two to three months. The conference is a month away, so when we get back, we can start. I mean, we can start before, but I know that we would need full attention, right? As long as there is profit on the back end. And rapido, say, yeah, fast. Yeah. I would say as long as there is profit on the back end, I would say do numbers. You got to do it fast, though. I mean, fast is like, like if we spend two months, we get to give ourselves 60 days renovation. Yeah. That's a good amount of time, right? Then we'll be right in the heat of the market, man. Hoping that the world doesn't blow up in between. So there you have it. We don't know what we're doing. We're not perfect. No, we have to do the numbers because the numbers don't lie. I just so, did the numbers. You know, sit down, do the numbers. I just did it. Right? Let's just, I'm just saying budget-wise. I'm just rough. I just need rough numbers, right? So we're in 140, right? I go another 40, 50, 50,000. 50,000 rental puts it at 190. Closer to 50, yeah. No, no. Yeah, I know you want. If I said 100, you'd say closer to 100. But the 50, the 50,000 puts us at 190. We sell at 265. That gives us 251 with paying commissions already. Right? And then we can net between somewhere between 50 and 60,000. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds great when you say it like that. Obviously, we know there's bumps in the roads and all that stuff when we rental. Right. But we don't, have, we don't have a big rental project right now. And this is, a, you know, 20 showings in a weekend, this is a hotbed. Yeah. And this is a great house compared to the colonial barn that that guy's yeah. trying to sell. Well, you say you're going to break even, but instead of worrying about that 10 grand where you could... I don't care about grand. the 10 grand. Oh, but I'm saying if you flip it, that's, you could say that's 10 grand every month that you made off of it from keeping it. Yeah. So we're talking about, let's see, that's, uh, that's about... It's a little less than two dollars a, a yard, and then to put in, right? With and, material, well, yeah. In laminate, we're we're making it. We're we're actually close to that too. To but then, the, uh, so then, the then, then there's a time play. It's like people don't like carpet anymore. I mean, you go in high end. We can. We're able to get with laminate. We're able to get good material, and we actually have a good price for installing it. I think it's definitely worth going with laminate, you know, because I mean, the time is not even. See, the reason why I, I the, the reason why I, I the, the laminate is because then you go into is the floor level. You have this issue, that issue. This is all plywood underneath here, right? I, I'm willing to take the risk and run the, the, the dining room area all one laminate. Come off with some great carpet there. And that's the thing with this house, because that's why I hesitate. Because if you're gonna do it, you have to do it right. But but carpet is carpet is. No no, I'm just talking about you. This you you, you see you hear this. I know I know, but but, but what do we do in the last house that we did to fix that? Yeah yeah, I, I mean I'm just saying. Whoop, whoop, whoop. More screws. He fixed no, that house on Mary no, LeBone like that. I'm just saying those things we. So my point, do. my point for staying away from laminate, uh -huh. it's not gonna kill the deal. When somebody walks into Caesar's house and there's carpet in certain areas, some people still. I I, I agree with you. Laminate is my is my, what I would want. Mm -hmm. But carpet's not a deal killer. Carpet's not deal killers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No, what I'm thinking is if you knock that wall down, then the kitchen is here now. Oh, you're yeah. just knocking this one down. Not, not that side. Your wall down. I got a budget, Francis. Huh? I got a budget. <laughs> what are you doing? Which, the, which, which one do you want to knock? That wall to open oh, it up to the living room. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Oh, okay. Literally, I would just go up, and here, uh -huh. and just oh, give it the open feel. Now we don't have this whole dark area. Yeah. You know what I mean? You th what is it? What does this remind you of? What house? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the river? The ugly house mm -hmm. with this kitchen. This is big compared to yeah, one, yeah. But yeah, of course it's the same. Layer. Knock that wall down. Still create the kitchen here. Maybe because you're gonna have the wall down, you can throw an island in the middle. It won't feel crowded. 
Great. Now we only got granite from there. Stove. Where do you put the refrigerator? You throw it here. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I'm not moving the whole kitchen and plumbing and all that. I know it's, I know it's got the basement. It's easy to move the plumbing over there. No, but it's not bad, I guess. I mean, you still open it up because, you, you know, you want the open feel. And then you run laminate in here. But I still have this problem where I'm feeling the slope right here. See what I'm saying? I feel it. I already know I'm down lower than y'all are. So you have to fix that. But you throw laminate here. I think there's some settling issues here. Let's, let's, let's slow down, Francis. Well, slow down. You know, I like to hear the number. No, it's just, I'm looking yeah, at the doorways. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's uh, definitely, um, it's definitely a project here. So this property, we're going to the second one just to assess exactly what we need to do. Uh, we bought this one cash for 92000 and um, we're going to go see what we need to do to get it a little bit more attention on the MLS. So just maybe some carpet and paint is what we're thinking. That should do it. Ain't that right, Francis? Not sure. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, Let's see what we can do on the, I don't know, I mean, uh, let's look at it again and see what else. I mean, I, I think on the outside a little bit, some cleaning, some power washing, and some... Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. What that kind of thing. Spruce The only other thing is, um, I want to just take a closer look to the bathrooms, see if there's something, I don't know. But, um, no, those bathrooms are... Yeah, if we just want to touch up, I mean, we might just have to do what you're saying, you're right? Shape up the front yard, get these leaves out here, put some pine needles down. No. Clean the gutters out. All we need is paint, Francis. Uh -huh. All we need is paint. We just need paint. Paint and get this carpet out of here. Yep. You're talking about a whole new house. So just paint, 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 paint. Paint everything? What do you think? Paint. Um, paint also over this wallpaper. What about this? What about the wood paneling? Yeah. Doesn't paint over wood paneling look bad? Huh? Can't paint over this one. And this one looks awesome. Yeah. Right? Nothing, nothing too perfect. It's just. The doors, no, I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to paint the. The baseboards. The baseboards. Yeah. baseboards and the moldings. Yeah, well, the the carpet in the house. That's it. Oh, shit. But the thing is that under this, mm -hmm. there's a vinyl. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So uh, it would have been, I don't know. We, we should try to see if there's hardwood under the vinyl. I don't know. No. Carpet, right? Yes, because yeah. you know what? If it's vinyl on top of the hardwood, then you got to resurface the hardwood, yeah. and then you got to match it to that, yeah. and you got to stain it. No, <laughs> carpet. Yeah. So, give me a price on carpet and paint. What do you want to look at in the bathrooms? No, yeah. There ain't nothing you can really do, man. No. That's why we're not gonna sell it at full retail. Right. So, Max, what do you think? Paint, carpet in that one spot. That? Yes. Give me a price. The price, and we'll do some outside pressure washing. Put a little new touch on it. Put. Do you see how dirty it is? 
remove the listing. And then when we put it back, it'll be for more money. They're gonna be like, we've never seen that before. Because people don't have the vision, they pay for it. So as you see here, we're just gonna, uh, one little area in the den has carpet. And we're just gonna paint the house. And then that'll, we'll fix all this crap here too, right? So we'll take all the leaves out, put pine needles down, and raise the price by $10,000.